welcome to the cloud network in this tutorial i will show you how to install cpanel and wh channel on your virtual box you can install on vmware workstation also and this also you can install in server desktop and laptop also with the help of unit pen drive or dvd empty you need to make a pen drive and dvd both bootable to install in server and desktop also and vmware uh, vmware and virtualbox with the help of iso image so this is uh, what is cpanel whm cpanel software for website uh, used for owner website owner provides uh, one, of, one of the most popular user interface for managing your websites like uh, cpanel what is give is soft it is software actually and it provides the uh, about uh, database your email id accounts applications securities and ftp and controls your everything except of your websites so uh, that is whm is a web, web nothing but actually is a web host manager that's providing our uh, hosting providers hosting providers that that means a graphical interface provides to manage your accounts and servers so whm software that is also software cpanel WHM both are softwares so these are what it does it do is it manage your configuration services deployment your packages and control your dns and ftp configuration accounts security settings and other more things that is we uh, manage that means cpanel just is do its uh, its up, uh, maintain and manage your applications database security WHM what is do is is just maintain and configure your security setting plus configure the DNS control, FTP configurations, deployment packages, services, all those is do. So this is the uh, creating about database, managing website, all the files, setting up your email account and auto responders. This is the cPanel and your WHM. And this is the link where you can download uh, with the I will show you how it is can download. Just open this uh, Google type virtual box. This is the download link. Uh, just open this download link. Here is the uh, web virtual box of your uh, Oracle virtual box where you can download virtual box 4.3 latest version. Uh, for if you are using Windows, you can download Windows. After that, you can install your uh, cPanel. And this is the Linux support. If you are uh, using Linux, so you can download virtual box. And just uh, you can download for VMware workstation means open this workstation Google. And this is the link directly about uh, workstation download 10.0 latest version. Open this link, and here is the uh, VMware site. And this is the Windows supported, and this is the Linux supported. You can download and you can install uh, the cPanel in VirtualBox plus VMware workstation also. And uh, after that, not only in the VirtualBox or cPanel, you can install in your server desktop uh, with the help of pendrive bootable cd you need to make iso image that into pendrive bootable cd uh, this is the uh, c panel download just open the c panel and this is the link first to download this uh, c panel here is a website of your c panel showing the system requirement is showing you need to have 512 mb ram at least and 10 gb of hard disk space this you need require, require this is a processor you need to have at least 266 super pair so just uh, this is the requirement condition is showing about this one uh, about this one this is the link where you can download see http update cpanel login this is the download link showing so here is the live demo also you can test it of course now just scroll down and you will find this is for dns server only download you can download and install it so this is just sent OS quick installation CD ISO image here we can download and this is your cPanel sent OS this is for 64 bit supported and this is for 32 bit supported so if you are download VirtualBox 32 bit supported you need to download 32 bit so I have downloaded VirtualBox 64 bit so I am going to install 64 bit so just click on this 64 bit so you will come on the screen so it's showing this size is 618 MB 64 bit cPanel along with sent OS so which I have already downloaded this one I have downloaded cPanel and 6.4 uh, 64 bit now I will show you how to install in a virtual box just open this virtual box click new and type here cPanel and and type WHM okay give version 6.5 uh, 
select this one or uh, where you have downloaded for 32 bit or 64 bit so click on to the uh, next select this linux and centos uh, version 2.64 bit 32 bit you can select this one uh, click on next and recommend ram is 256 semi showing so how much you have a ram in system or laptop assign according to your purpose so click on next i have assigned 2 gb ram this is hard drive we are going to create now this iso image creating click next this is my hard disk size which i am giving 25 gb uh, according to your purpose you can give your hard disk size how much you have a hard disk size uh, so click on this location this is where, where this is your hard drive or hard disk will be storage uh, in this location so i have changed my location click to create now and go to settings uh, just to go to journal and check floppy go to storage at assign your iso image where you have downloaded by clicking here and choose your path so this is the location where i have downloaded the cc panel just open this one uh, by clicking okay then go to network and take a bridge adapter okay click ok just start so you can see press enter to begin enter to begin installation process so just we need to press enter already it has been uh, installation started Uh, it's showing about something one is showing uh, if you have a any data on your hard disk uh, so just take a backup before it's formatting so it's showing the reinitializing means it will cause your all data to be lost so what i will do is uh, i will just go for the or else you can go for ignore or ignore or reinitialize or reinitialize or so i'm going to press this last option and showing it to select which time zone are you located uh, press uh, time use system clock time or else you can go for manually and select your time zone press ok and need to confirm the password please uh, remember this password and confirm the same password which after that this password we are going to log in and remember this showing was pick a, a root password so this is the root password we are going so after the installation it will come on uh, our login page we need to log in with this username and the password so remember this password press ok and we have provided the big password so i am going to use anyway you can give a strong password we showing telling about the enable network interface during the installation it will be need to have to install the some dependency so just click ok confirm this i have this one or else uh, you can go for the manually by clicking here to assign IP address gateway and main server so I have ad assigned DHCP directly so if you have a IP version 6 means you can need to assign manually also or you can go further I am checking this I don't have any IP version 6 here or else you can go for this ok So it's showing some warning packages have been selected for the installation missing dependency you can exit the installation go back and change the package selection or continue the installation with this package without the dependency so this dependency is not going to be installed so i'm selecting this uh, continue or else you can exit the installation and go back and check the dependency also So now we need to press the uh, package installation completed. Press F12 to for next screen. Restarting it now. So now we need to uh, log in with the username root and password which we have given during the installation type that and enter. So it's showing this uh, CPAN installation is currently taking place. Please be patient. Do not reboot the server. The end of my installation. Thank you for watching.